Hi Scorpio, welcome to your weekly scopes. Please keep in mind this is only a general reading. Take what it feels right and with what resonates with your life experiences at the moment. So Scorpio, this is a very fiery, fun, exciting week. If you allow yourself to align with this energy, there's a lot of playfulness, a lot of excitement and creativity and chatting, 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 chatting. And just being inspired and inspiring, inspiring others by your boldness, confidence, and even uh, this desire to to just express your vibrance, your vibrant energy. And it's it's a good time to enjoy um, the joys of life, to surround yourself with anything that promotes the sense of happiness of um creativity as well uh there's also a, a lot of children like energy so maybe you could be around uh children this week or just memories from your childhood that can um inspire you in some way or make you see something or realize something having having this idea this sudden idea that you didn't have before because you had certain events that either reminded you from your own childhood or inner child or as well um, because you are around children or this playful energy for some reason. So the main opportunity is the page of wands. This is the, the, the kid. This is the energy of the kid that nobody can stop. Because the, the kid that's always running around, running around, jumping around, laughing loud. This is the page of wands. It's fire. It's spirited. It doesn't pay attention to uh, if he's being rude, if he's upsetting someone, if he's making too much noise. He's just spirited. And he wants to be loved. And he wants to express himself. And he wants to play. And he wants to roar. And he wants to just be. The page of wands is the stage of the child that just wants to be. And it doesn't care about what he's doing. He just needs to do it for any reason. It's impulsive. Impulsive, 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 impulsive. As well, it's a very good week to look at your impulses. Look at this childlike spirit that just tries. That is not afraid to fail. It's not afraid to explore, it's not afraid to go on an adventure because life is, is the biggest adventure of it all. Why, who, who, why should he waste time thinking about all these scenarios, wasting time not experiencing the joy around him, laughing, uh, being uh, aware of the playground that this world is. For him to just go and explore. So the main opportunity for you this week is to go into your inner child and see if there are spaces in it that are repressed by this need of being too controlled, too serious, too deep, too mysterious, too dark. And if you are losing track of a side of your own self, that is just asking for more freedom, freedom of movements, freedom of expression, freedom of just being whoever you feel like being right now. So if you have been a behavior where you are too controlled, too um, dominant, too restricted, too structured, too uh scared of trying different things maybe this week you just say the enough word and you try to do something new because there's this fire energy and very rarely we can contain like not to say impossible we can contain when we feel a lot of fire energy around us and in us because it's so vibrant it's so energetic it's so sexual it's so creative that we must do something with it. Run, jump, write, scream, date, having um, 
a relationship with another person, having an intimate relationship with another person, going into romance, going into anything. Because it's just this drive. It's the drive that puts us on motion. And it's very hard to resist the, the drive of the fire because of it. Especially in the page, in the page stage, which is just the beginning and it's the spark. And it's the lighting up of the, of the, um, of the flame. So it's very interesting as well that the challenge is the Six of Cups. The challenge is this past connection, again, with your inner child, with the memories of the childhood that are just sweet and tender, with the memories of your first love and what love meant to you at the time, with the memories of someone from your past that really resonated or really brought up this child spirit out of you. And the challenge is to see it. The challenge is to see how the child, it doesn't mean that you have to be childish. To express your child, it doesn't mean that you will be childish. It just means that there's a part of yourself that is longing for this connection with your past or this connection more deeply with something that is never part of the past, which is your child, inner child. Or the challenge is maybe your childhood is something you don't like to remember that much, something you don't like to go and, and, and take out and express out because there's situations there that you don't want to, um, that you don't want to uh, think about it or talk about it because you're scared that we will, that will promote and create those feelings that, uh, those feelings that you didn't like in the past, they will promote them into reality again. So the challenge is just to be this sweet, tender, excitable, adventurous spirit this week. To push forward something, you're trying to become the, um, like the master of it, like the the nurturing authority figure of your own self, because the advice is another wands card, so fire is dominant for you this week, and it's the queen. So we go from child to the mother. How interesting! Again, like I was saying, it's not about being childish. If you are an adult, if you are mature enough. It doesn't matter how much you try to uh, put this inner child into work. You will never be childish. Childish and immature is thinking that we cannot, uh, we, we cannot have both at play with us, at play with us when we are both. We are the adult and the child. We are the son or the daughter and we are the mothers. All of those archetypes, they work within us. And the child and the mother, it's the archetype for you this week to look at. And the archetype of doing, being confident in your own abilities to be who you are, to be dynamic, to be active, to be impulsive, to be instinctive, to work out your energies in any way possible. So we don't build up resentment and tension. So if you, if you have been having this desire to express uh, yourself in any type of creative uh, work, any type of creative project, any type of creative relationship, uh, it's a good week to, to put romance in motion in anything that surrounds you, in anything you want to uh play and try and, and taste and experiment. It's about adventure and playfulness. The sky is the limit. So it's like going to the, um, the roller coaster this week, going to the fun fairs, going to the beach, go into any place that makes you feel excited. The, those places and those situations where you can't put your child into play, are the situations this week that probably will give you the most beautiful, 
moments and insights because that's what your soul is in your your unconscious self is desiring to express itself right now the, the own desire fire is also about desire the raw desire of shaping forms so go out there and just be a little bit crazy and be a little bit wild what's wrong with that i wish you a great week thank you for listening liking subscribing and happy halloween